what we have here is a salt cell and it has two unions on both sides as you can see this one is cracked and leaking this is a newer style so we're gonna have to replace this and we're gonna try a new technique that we learned thanks to good old social media first thing we're gonna do of course is remove the salt cell just loosening both unions salt cell to the side. It's clean. It's funny because just last night my wife and I were having a discussion about social media and the internet. You can find a video about anything. Just Google anything and it'll show up. This guy, can't remember his name, he cut here and here and was able to pop this old union off and then get a flathead and pop it off this way and get the entire union off and still use the old plumbing, clean it up real nice, sand it, clean it up real nice. Um, I'm going to attempt to do that. Uh, in past experiences, when the plumbing is so butted up against each other, we would cut here and you would slip in what's called a pipe extender. So this is two inch plumbing this fits inside two inch pipe. So essentially it fits in there like this, which gives you the exact amount of space you need to put on your new union. So then you can screw in your new, or screw your salt cell back together. So we're gonna try that new technique. And I've never done this. I'm trying it for the first time. That guy made it look easy. Of course, maybe he edited it to make it look easy. <laughs> well, I tried to peel it off. It's pretty difficult. So I'm gonna go with what I've done for years. I know some guys are against it because you end up reducing that two inch line, but I haven't had problems in the past doing it. So I'll just cut here. not a plumber by trade I'm not an electrician by trade I'm not a chemist um, but I, I'm not a I don't work with the gas company but when you work in the pool industry you've got to be a jack of all trades and I'm not really a master of any of them but I feel like I have enough ability to do the work can I get better absolutely like I got glue everywhere because it got stuck up on the end of this union you know, and I don't want it to look like that. So I'm going to have to clean that up and then repaint this pipe. But I'm not, I'm not a master at everything I do. I'm learning every day, just like all of us. So that's how you plumb in a cracked union, your salt cell.